Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. I wanted to show you what I do to transport my targets back and forth to the range. I like to use a couple different size of targets. And recently I've been using a lot of these uh, eight and a half by 11s I just print. I just print these on uh, copier paper. And they work great, they're very cheap to, to laser print. And um, I take those to the range with me and I just put them in this, uh, this little cheap folder. I actually got this from, this is one of my kids' old uh, school folders, if my camera will focus there. All right, this is just something that I just repurposed when my kids kids were threw it away, basically. So the problem that I had was transporting larger targets. I like to use these large, more realistic, more real size targets. These right here are a 23 by 35 target that I got from Action Targets. I buy them like 100 at a time. If I go to my local gun store and buy this target, it's a dollar a piece. I can order them for 20, uh, I don't know, like 24 cents a piece, something like that. It's it's less than 30 cents a piece shipped to my house. Um, great deal, to order them online, but you have to order at least 100 at a time. The problem is when you order 100 of them, it's kind of it's kind of awkward to transport the box around because you know I don't need to take 100 targets with me to the range every time that I go to the range. I only need five to 10 of these large targets. So what I do is I use one of these tubes. This right here is a mailing tube that you can get from um, Office Depot, Office Max, possibly even Walmart or someplace like that. And what I do is I just roll them and I stick them in this tube. That way they're they're protected. When I get to the range, they're not uh, they're not flattened, they're not wrinkled, they're not uh, you know tore up. They work great. You know I put them back in there and bring them back home with me. This tube was about four bucks, and they will last you a long time. Basically, you'll end up tearing the ends out of them and have to buy another one. But this this tube, as long as you don't, uh, you know, smash it or something, get it wet, it'll last you for a long time. But I have a cheaper alternative. If you don't want to spend four bucks for that, next time you're at the post office, grab one of these. These, the post office will actually give them to you for free, and um, they work great for storing your targets in. These targets are 23 inches wide, and this box is about 26 inches wide, 25 inches wide. It works great. You can put a lot of targets in this box, actually. I end up tearing the ends off of them because I end up carrying them by the end, and it, you know, it's missing a flap on it already, but that's what happens to these boxes. These boxes tear up pretty quick. You could actually glue it together if you wanted. I just fold it and stuck it together, and when it tears up, I'll get another one. Um, but I started using these, these tubes. These tubes last a lot longer than these, uh, these, po these USPS boxes. Um, they're a lot more durable, and these plastic ends on there keep, keep everything together nicely. And you can put smaller targets in that, but uh, for the smaller targets, I just use a folder, or sometimes you'll get the targets that are about, uh, I don't know, 14 inches wide, 16 inches wide, something like that. I just roll them up and stick them in the tube also with the larger targets. But that's what I do. I don't know if I can help you or not, but if it can, good. Um, that's what I put it out here for. Um, let me know if you find this video useful. Uh, like, subscribe, share if you can. Spin Muzzle first. Thank you, and you have a great day.